Before I begin this week's video, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that's been liking, subscribing, just watching my videos. It's just so nice when you put so much hard work and effort into something that it's kind of just even a little bit appreciated. This week's topic is something that is very close to my heart. Actually, I think this is probably the first topic I have done 10 reasons why on that I feel like I'm actually qualified in, which is nice. So. 10 reasons why you shouldn't try and remain friends with your ex. One, when you've broken up with someone, you can't just turn off those feelings and having those feelings for your friend is just gonna lead to disaster. <laughs> Two, false hope. I think this is something I do and I'm sure you have done as well. You don't admit that there's false hope, at least from one of your perspectives. One of you secretly hopes something's gonna happen again. Three. You've seen each other naked. And I can kind of imagine this is how the conversation would go with your ex, having seen each other naked. Hi Rob, how's it going? Sarah, it's been a while, how are you? <laughs> Do you still have a hairy arsehole? Does your penis still look like a frankfurter? Mm, four. You're not going to actively want them to be with anyone else. So this makes it extremely difficult for either of you to move on. I mean, the epitome of staying friends is not defriending them on Facebook. And I know it drives you fucking insane. Seeing pictures, seeing whose wall they're writing on, seeing who's written on their wall. Oh, is that Melissa girl? Oh, she's really pretty, who the fuck is she? Oh, no, she's got a boyfriend, it's all right. Oh, Joe. who is Joe? Fuck, she's really hot. <coughs> I'm a big fan of defriending exes on Facebook. Do you really need to see what parties they're going to, what new group they've liked, where they've just checked in? I just don't think it's necessary to know every single detail about a person that you've pretty much decided that you're not spending the rest of your life with. Sex. Friends talk about their sex and love lives all the time, and you do not want to be talking about sex with your ex who you're not having sex with. Seven. There is a high chance you're going to end up sleeping with them again because friends get drunk together and when we get drunk, we want to have sex. At the time, this seems like an awesome idea. In the morning, it is not. This is probably how you'll feel if you're the dumpy if you've just slept with your ex. Emily? Yeah? Are you okay? No. I just shouldn't have slept with him. <laughs> no, people call me. And on the reverse, if you're the dumper, this is you. <laughs> I had sex last night. Eight. We all deserve to be around people that make us happy. If your ex broke up with you and hurt you, talking to him will only remind you of that. Nine. I'm sure you have plenty of friends already. I mean, obviously you still care about your ex, but Friends talk about relationships, friends go to people's weddings. Do you want to go to your ex's wedding? Does anyone see a reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony? I do! And 10. I think generally staying friends, in my experience, just means you have to break up over and over again. I think when the lines are a bit blurred of kind of what you're doing and why you're friends, it's very easy to slip back into, you know, being an item. That is really all just gonna lead to misunderstandings, bitterness, and you're just gonna have to break up again. One breakup is certainly hard enough for me, so I definitely don't want two of them. Can I just say I'm fully aware that this topic and my reasons is definitely not for everyone. I actually am friends with some of my exes, but this generally more applies to the ones that have completely screwed you over, or the one you have screwed over. I'll be there for you. No, you won't. 